us cleaning up my crafting room today and I came across a lot more items that I could add in my junk journal and I noticed that my junk journal is getting really thick already because I've stuffed some of the pockets. So I'm going to go through and take out some of these blank pages but I have to be careful because some of them, like here I'm going to put a picture. Um, some of them have washi or other things on the other side. Uh, but if I take out, like here's a page. So I want to see where the end to this other page is. And see there's washi on that end, so I'm going to leave that. Same with this one, it has washi. This one doesn't. Okay, so this page could be taken out. This is just a plain page of copy paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip it out. And then this one should just pop right out. And that didn't wreck anything in between. So this I want to keep. Really I'm just looking to remove as many of the blank white pages that I really wish I wouldn't have um, kept on. Okay, so here's a white one, but we have to see what's on the other end of this one. Okay, so here it is. There's nothing on either side, so I'm going to get rid of this one as well. And then, oops. Here's another blank white sheet. And there is nothing on that one either. So I'm going to get rid of this. It's just going to help get rid of some of the bulk. Well, I've already gotten rid of it's just some blank pages. They already have washi tape on them. I'm leaving them. Like this one could have gone, but. Okay, this one doesn't have anything, so I can get rid of this one as well. There. So, it hasn't eliminated all of the bulk, but it has eliminated some of the bulk it was able to take out several pages, which is going to allow me a little bit more room. Um, plus, they were white pages that I didn't really feel inspired to decorate. Um, I feel like this is getting a little bit more used up now. And 
you know, I'm hoping that I can complete this within the next couple months so that I can make a new one. Okay, so I went through and I modified it just a little bit more. It was still bulky and I was able to pull out um, five sheets of the white, so ten half sheets total. And then some of the coffee tea dyed paper, so three sheets, so six half sheets. So that will eliminate a little bit of the bulk, um, plus get rid of a lot of these blank white pages. The next thing I'm going to do, and I absolutely cannot take out any more um, because they've already been used and I don't want to tear it apart too much. Um, you know, I want to leave so leave it somewhat, but you can definitely see that it has thinned out some of the signatures. Um, I'm going to take some watercolor now and splash some watercolor over the blank white pages. Uh, so let me get that ready and we'll go through that together. Okay, so with the leftover coffee tea dyed paper, I'm going to save this for tags for other projects. And for and with this white paper, I'm just going to use this um, to help kind of block the water into leaking. And I'm going to try to use very, very, very little water. And for this one, I just want to do a light blue background. And I just have my cheapo, they were like $5 paints from Michael's years ago. And I am just going to wet the really light blue and just get that all nice and watery. And then add some blue to the page. So my mom is 85 and she loves to fish. And the old pedal boat that we had up at the cabin had a crack in it. She has a hard time getting in and out of the pedal boat, but I bought her a new one. I'm going to add a little bit of this pretty blue. Just a little bit. Just kind of add that in there. And my sister-in-law has a picture of her going out fishing in her new pedal boat. So I'm going to add that photo here. But I wanted to give it a little bit of a blue background. So the other side of this is cardstock, and luckily it didn't leak through. There. So I'm going to go ahead and set another piece here, and go to the next page. I don't like this page white either, um, but I think I'm going to go with like a yellow. Go with the darkest yellow. I have a huge brush here. Just because I'm just splattering the paint on, I'm not really doing anything too exciting. I am going to put washi tape over the staples. I don't want to put too much water on it. Because I don't want it to leak through the pocket, whatever I have in there. I can't even remember what is in there. Oh, just the receipts for it. And to kind of keep with the this is that this is the washi sample that I got from Washi Wednesday. I did go ahead and put that on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. I don't know what this is. This is brown. Yeah, it looks like a tan. And maybe it just add some streaks. Yeah. 
We will put another piece of paper there and let that dry. Next one would be this, and I'm feeling some pink. I'm feeling kind of a bright purpley pink. This side, I did go ahead and put those strips of paper. There. And then I'm gonna go with the lightest pink. I guess that's the lightest. too much water but the big brush is helping me get it on there fast and it's drying very quickly here see how it's kind of jazzing up those blank pages This is a really blank one. This is the coffee dyed. It's just plain white copy paper. And I think I go with some greens, like a teal. I know you guys can't see the paint I'm using right now. Just get some green. Something different. time I am done with this though I should be able to reach to the front and grab the other so I'm thinking that we get to a little bit of orange I'm holding this down so it doesn't curl up and flip up and hit the other tea dye page. 
Now I'm going to hit some yellow. I think I added way too much water to this one. It's curling up a little bit. another way page. I think we'll stick with the orange theme with a brighter orange. Sorry, you can't see me doing this because I'm holding the book page down. I don't want this to become an art journal. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of color to the white pages. The next time I do a junk journal, I'm not leaving, I don't, it's not pleasing to my eye just to have plain blank white pages. I need something on it. So my intention was not to have this become like an art journal. We're gonna leave this dry and then I'll go back through. So I've gone through, taken most of the bulk out. Well, some of the bulk out. <laughs> and it looks a little bit still bulky because of the stuff I have in it, but there's less pages. And the pages that were blank, I did a little coloring. I'm going to take some washi tape. <clears throat> Let's see here. Washi tape. I'm going to use this to cover up the staples. And then I think I can just put like a photo or something here. This washi tape is great. It's so forgiving, but yet it's really sticky. There, and then a cute photo would go there too. <laughs> can you tell I'm trying to fill the book up? I want to move on. I've been in this book forever and, well, not forever, <laughs> since January. I kind of would like to get two books in this year. May not happen. Here we go. 
I do want to get some journaling in here. A little bit more journaling. Put a photo here. Do some journaling here. There's another page where I added some color. Another page where I added some color. 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 I don't like how it makes the paper crinkly. I think I'm going to add a little bit more watercolor to this side. I'm going to go the same kind of theme. My book has a lot of orange in it. Orange is my favorite color. pumpkin color which I love If I don't put pictures on this page, I've got a background for journaling. Okay, so there is, I, I don't want to put any more of the same washi tape in here. I'm going to wait and dig through and add some different colors. But I feel like it's a little bit more decorated. Like I said, there's going to go, a picture's going to go here. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of stuff that I can use to fill this. So you can see where the watercolor just adds a little bit and there's less blank pages. Um, the other cool thing about the watercolor pages is that it, when, when they dry, they make the pages crispy, like the um, coffee and tea dyed papers. So I'm feeling a little bit better about this. I've covered some of the staples, not all. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm going to stop right now. I am going to go ahead and let those pages dry. And then hopefully take some time to print out some pictures and add some more cards and ephemera and receipts from previous things. I think I am going to take this off. This I think it doesn't belong on here. Um, and just leave the tassel for this one. And then as I've got a start with these pages have a little bit of paint on them. So I can use these or probably some mixed media tags and I can finish just adding watercolor to them maybe stamp some images um, who knows but nothing really gets wasted 
So, thanks for watching again, you guys, with this journal, um, junk journal with me. I feel like I am, you know, in a good spot. I'm glad I took out some of these white pages as well as some of the coffee dye pages that weren't getting used. There's still a lot of room in here for me to journal and add, um, you know, some goodies. Mainly what's going to go in here are gift cards, some photos, and like I said, I have quite a bit of journaling to do. And I may do a little bit more painting on some of these blank pages. We'll see. Maybe add some, you know, pretty more pretty paper. Not sure, but here's a good spot for a photo. This is a good spot for a photo. I still want to do this drawing book. If I don't get this drawing book done, I'll just move it into a different journal. Um, yeah. So it's coming along nicely. I feel a lot better about it. I've got to play with a lot of my washi tapes from the Planner Society and from Washi Wednesday. I love washi tape and I love how it decorates a journal so beautifully. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm going to try to do junk journal with me as, as often as I can. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate all of you subscribers. Thank you for leaving comments. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Bye, everybody.